Hello everyone. Welcome to V Ideas. My name is Vidya and I am using this platform to share my views and ideas. Hope you like them. Do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive updates. In this video, I will be showing you how to make an eggless caramel custard pudding in just 4 easy and simple steps. Caramel custard pudding is a delicious and tasty dish which is very easy to whip up without any major efforts. This dish which is a treat to your eyes as well as your tummy can be had as a tea time snack or as a dessert. You can prepare this caramel custard pudding in just 4 simple and easy steps. Number 1 caramelizing sugar. Number 2 cooking the custard. Number 3 steaming and number 4 refrigeration. Isn't that easy? Ingredients required. The ingredients used in this dish will be readily available in any grocery store. I am using 4 medium slices of bread. I have chosen milk bread as they are slightly sweet to taste. You can use any bread of your choice. Trim off the edges and slice them into cubes. Then grind them into a fine powder. Next, take 4 tablespoons of custard powder. Mix it well in half a cup of water. Make sure that it is mixed well with no lumps. I'm also going to use a 1/4 cup of white sugar to make caramelized sugar. Also, a half cup of sugar for the custard. If you are diabetic or calorie conscious, then opt for zero calorie sweeteners. I am going to cook the custard in 2 cups of milk. I chose milk with full fat for a rich and creamier texture. I will be using a 6 inch tray as a mold to set the pudding. Let's begin. Step 1: Caramelizing sugar. Take a small pan, preferably a non-stick pan to caramelize the sugar. Spread the sugar evenly on the pan. Heat the sugar on a low to medium flame. Switch off the flame once you see the boils in the caramelized sugar. Carefully pour the caramelized sugar in the tray and swirl it well to spread it evenly. Keep it aside and let it cool down. Step 2: Cooking custard. Heat a wide-mouthed pan and pour 2 cups of milk into it. Add the half cup of sugar into it. Mix it well. I prefer to whisk it with the help of a whisker. Once it nears a boil, lower the flame and add 2 tablespoons of the custard mixture into it and mix well. Make sure to add the custard mixture slowly and gradually to avoid the formation of any lumps. This will also help to attain a creamier texture. Once all the custard mixture is added into the pan, switch off the flame. Now, gradually add powdered bread into the pan and keep mixing it. A whisker will definitely help in attaining a smooth texture. Once you add all the powdered bread into the pan, switch on the flame to low and bring it to a boil. Make sure not to overcook it. By now, the caramelized sugar has cooled down and set well in the molding tray as you can see. Slowly transfer the cooked custard into the molding tray. Spread it evenly. Now cover it and seal it well with an aluminum foil. Step 3: Steaming. Heat a pan with some amount of water. Because of the stump in the middle, I cannot use the steaming tray as a base. As I don't have anything else to use as a base, I thought of using the idli tray. Place the custard pudding mold onto the base tray. Once the water comes to a boil, close the pan with a lid and steam cook it for 25 to 30 minutes on medium flame. To speed up this process, you can also pressure cook it using a pressure cooker. After 30 minutes, switch off the flame. Let the custard pudding cool down and come to room temperature. Step 4: Refrigeration. 
Refrigerate it for a minimum of 3 to 4 hours. I left it in the refrigerator overnight. Finally, it's ready. Now let's plate it. Slowly remove the aluminum foil. With the help of a butter knife, gently loosen the pudding from the sides of the mold. Place a plate on the mold and flip the mold over the plate as shown in this video. Carefully separate the caramel custard pudding from the mold. It is very soft and delicious as well as creamy in its texture. It just melted in my mouth with a burst of flavors. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do try out this recipe and give me your feedbacks or suggestions. See you all next week with another video. Till then, Vidya signing off.